Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for avoiding my in-laws? I 34F had my first child almost six years ago. Up until my son was born I had a really nice relationship with my in-laws and especially my Amayal. We had been on vacations together, all kinds of stuff. My husband, 35M, is pretty close with his parents and up, until more recently somewhat dependent on them emotionally. My family on the other hand is pretty focused on being self-sufficient. I know most people would probably say this about themselves and I have plenty of faults, but I'm pretty laid back and easy to get along with. It takes a lot to ruffle my feathers and I let most stuff just roll off my back. I had my son, who was the first grandchild on either side. I suffered with horrible PPD A. Postpartum depression and anxiety for those who don't know. My in-laws, especially M.I.L., became extremely present after my son was born. She came to see him at the hospital, and after being there with her sister and my F.I.L. for over five hours I finally asked if they could leave so I could try and get some rest. Things really unraveled during the next nine months. She wanted to be involved in every single thing we did. Part of my PPD was I wanted space from people, so I could use my energy to take care of my son. I felt really overwhelmed having her over all of the time as well as my own family. Frankly no one was very helpful they just wanted to be with the baby. I started asking them to leave or visit less. My husband didn't understand why I didn't want people coming over as much. Next came, my Mile making comments about how messy our home was. Or being critical about us leaving to put the baby down for naps or bedtime. I get that no one was used to a kid's schedule, so it ruffled feathers with his family. We started getting in trouble if we didn't take part in any activity they wanted to do as a family. To the point they would tell my husband's grandfather to stop giving him any money. At this point, the grandfather, actual sweetest man on earth, was giving money here and there to my husband and his sisters if he had extra laying around. His grandfather grew up in Nick extremely poor and was very lucky and worked hard and had a great attitude and was pretty successful. He just wanted people to enjoy it BC he never did. He always had plenty for himself. A few things happen that involve my in-laws talking about me negatively when I'm not around. A friend of my son granted he is still super young but it's still inappropriate. There was one dinner where apparently the one sister and both parents spent the entire meal going after my dad for being cheap and being weird. My dad is just a happy-go-lucky Quaker. Yes, he's a little cheap but he would give the shirt off of his back to anyone and made a lot of effort to get to know my in-laws. I wasn't at this dinner, but my husband and his little sister said that it was inappropriate. The parents took the older sister's side and stopped talking to my husband and his little sister and asked the grandfather to give them nothing going forward. My in-laws are the only ones in their families to have had kids so it's sort of always been their show and they are the ones who set the rules. I finally talked to Mel after this BC she had made more comments about bring uncomfortable in my house BC of how messy it was. Yes there was clutter and dishes and laundry but we are by no means absolute slobs. I went to my therapist to practice what to say and how to talk to her. It didn't go well. She was furious my husband had told me the things she had been saying about me behind my back. Denied ever saying anything about my dad. In a last-ditch effort I said, if we can't agree on how I keep the house, or anything else can we least agree that the most important thing here is that my son is loved and cared for. She says. No, I can't because I had three kids and never had a problem doing laundry and my house never looked like this. She walked out and told me that our relationship would never be the same, but hopefully at some point we could form a new one. My husband said for the sake of his grandfather who was very elderly by this point and his health was declining still so stuff with his parents. He was furious for a month or two and then moved on. I continued to hear snide comments and just ignored it. So much more happened but I think I'm spending too much time on this part. It was a control battle for years. If we didn't go to a family event, we would get iced out. It was pretty bad, and I was getting more and more resentful and less willing to deal with it. A few years go by, my grandmother dies and leaves me and my mom a decent amount of money at this point. We buy a bigger house, go on vacation, and becomes apparent to my in-laws that we have more money than we did before they found this very threatening. They would constantly talk about it with my children and present behind my back. On a positive note at this point, my mother-in-law stopped feeling better then and started treating me with more respect because I think she was afraid that we didn't need her. Even though we actually never needed her. They legit never helped us financially in any capacity. 
at this point things are getting a little easier because she isn't trying to punish us like children bc, she now sees me on her level I guess. My husband again begs me to be civil and still do things with them so that the grandfather wouldn't get upset. Yes, I realize how fucked up this is. My husband's grandfather basically raised him because his own dad traveled for work 3-4 of the year. Anyways, at this point, I decided I was just gonna keep my head low and play nice until the grandfather passed on, as to not upset him or my husband. The grandfather dies about a year ago. So at this point, I have slowly over the past year, stopped going to any event at my in-law's house. I still take my children over there once a week to hang out, but I drop them off and my husband pick them up. As time has gone on, I am just less willing to spend time with them. Mostly because I am a mom of two young kids and it's a lot of work, and if I can get a few moments to myself while the rest of my family is with my in-laws. I usually take it to my advantage and either take a nap or veg out on the couch. My grandmother died maybe three years ago and since then things have gotten better with my in-laws, I haven't had any major blow-ups with them for probably two years. Some of this is a result of boundaries. I've worked extremely hard to navigate, and some of it is because now that I have some of my own money, they don't disrespect me as much, which is so messed up. Here is where I want to know if I'm an asshole. Since there have been no major blow-ups, and they are civil almost every time I'm around them, and this has been going on for close to two years now am I the asshole for saying no more and more to the point where I basically will not engage with them. Even though they haven't been on their worst behavior in two years, I feel like the years of disrespect has gotten me to a point where it doesn't matter how they act now I am unable to have a decent relationship with them because I don't trust them and I don't want to. They're still passive-aggressive and fake and weird to be around. It's not fun for me. I'm an adult to make this choice. I know my husband hears an earful about me not liking them and not going over there from his parents. Which is why he constantly asks me to come. I'm also going to address the relationship I have with my husband around this because I'm sure people are going to ask about it. This has been a sore subject in my relationship since we had kids six years ago. We talked about it at length and ultimately, while my husband supports how I feel and my decisions around this, he does not understand it because of how he was raised. Anyone I know is on my side but it's because it's my family and friends. I wanted to get people's point of view who are not biased. Long story short, my in-laws have not been assholes for the most part in two years. However, I almost always say no to going to their house for no reason other than I don't like them. I am so sorry this is forever long. I am even more sorry for the horrible run-on sentences, bad grammar, and probably bad spelling halfway through. I decided to use talk to text because it was going too slow at which point everything went to shit. Am I the asshole?